Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing this morning? Jimmy Richardson here with another exciting video. <laughs> good morning, everybody. It's Jimmy Rich coming to you right here on the YouTube channel. I'd like to say welcome back to my channel. Shout out to all my subscribers. Everybody taking the time out of their busy schedule to view my videos. This here is just another episode of Talk Video. Oh no, whoa, 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 got it wrong. It's talk Therapy, that's it. I keep forgetting, I get it mixed up with Talk Video and Talk Therapy. Because I, call, I want to call it Talk Therapy, you know, because that's pretty much what it is. That early morning uh, discussion on my way to work early in the morning that's what it is what it is let y'all ride along and share the ride with me well we can just call it carpooling we carpooling everybody aboard alright let's get it Oh my goodness, another warm, another wonderful, exciting day. As we head to work, this is the Working Man Blues. <laughs> another exciting day. Just another day in paradise. Of getting up and going and checking in and Crawling into your work cell, doing 10 to 12 hours, give all of your body and energy for a small amount of money, and then come back home and rest up so you can give that energy again. process of continuation until you retire oh my goodness that's why you got so many people that brown nose and suck up to try to get out of working hard and manipulate whoever's in charge of you that's all it is but somebody's brown nosing or kissing ass or whatever, all it is is manipulation. And whoever it is that they're manipulating and they're brown nosing to, they're the fool because they're getting fooled. Because that person is doing the, the kissing up and the brown nosing, they're the ones doing the manipulating. <laughs> That's why people don't like it when I'm in charge because I don't favoritism. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I don't care. You can offer whatever you want to offer. I'm gonna turn it down. So, anyways, life is what it is. Just a big old playground. But as for me and many of my subscribers, folks. We as we're hard working individuals and we get what we work for or we try to get what we work for or we work hard for what we have that's that's the thing right there that's one thing about me nobody's ever given me anything I work for it if I don't have it, it's because I wasn't able to work enough to get to it or to get it. Or if it's something I don't have that someone else has, then it's something that either was not worth the money to me or not worth the value to me or it was just wasn't feasible. 
to have certain things. I live a simple, minimal life. I don't have, so to speak, expensive luxury things. What I have, if I have anything that looks luxurious, it's something that's probably, you know, it's something that's old, lots of years old, and the value of it is decreased way down. That's about it. But other than that, there you go. I don't know how we got started on that. Like I say, this is my talk therapy. It's just stuff roaming in my head. I just get it out, just spit it out. Don't take what I say serious in the mornings. I'm just rambling along. Getting my head straight, my noggin. It's been sleeping all night, dreaming. If you hear some rattling going on in the back, that's a case of water back there, you know, play plastic bottles. <coughs> they like, I keep them inside the truck. They just sit there and squiggly rub on each other. So, that's what that noise is. It'll be all right. Just calm down. <laughs> calm down. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. know where I got to turn, where I got to go in the mornings, if you follow along, if you watched any of my videos, my goodness, my goodness, I think it's going to be a beautiful day, I think it's going to be an extremely beautiful day, oh there's somebody on a bicycle, right there on the right hand side right there, Get over in the middle here. Yeah, oh yeah. Spooky. Dangerous. Anyways, you gotta be alert. You gotta watch what's going on. Keep your eyes peeled. Cause uh, these people nowadays, they don't wear reflective clothing or reflective things when they're out at night when it's dark so you have to be careful because it's your fault if you hit them it's your fault so far this morning I really haven't been all that positive yet have I <laughs> we got to turn this around man we got to change I did say it was going to be a beautiful day, and I did say good morning. That's a positive, right? Here. It's going to be an absolutely awesome day. No matter how rough it gets, it's going to be a wonderful day. Rolling strong on Highway 378. Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages. Hey y'all, if you're still listening, look, if you're not a subscriber, bottom right hand corner of this screen, click that subscribe button, jump aboard my channel. Make sure you ring that bell if you want to see my next video. You never know what it's going to be.
might not be as boring as this one or might not be as might be boring but I appreciate the support of having you as a subscriber please understand I'm not making any money on YouTube as of yet it'll be a while before I ever get it as to if I ever get it as that so I'll probably give up on YouTube before I ever get to the status of being able to make money on YouTube but <laughs> I'm just on here making videos for the fun of it having fun living my life sharing some moments sharing some talk therapy in the mornings letting you ride along with me in the dump truck pick up as we take on life in this big beautiful planet what we call Earth I know some people probably think it's ridiculous that a grown man 56, 57 oh lord 57 years old some people might think it's hilarious that I'm out here making videos and I'm talking to a camera that I'm just that you might think I'm wasting my time videoing riding down the road all this kind of stuff but guess what it's my time and it's my sand in the hourglass. I enjoy taking pictures. I enjoy making videos. I really, really do. My whole life. I've always enjoyed, you know, working a video camera. You know, since my, as long as I can remember, well, since I was in my early 20s. I bought my first video camera, my big old VHS, big old camcorder. I love making videos. It's just fun for me. It's just memories, because sometimes, you know, you can't quite picture a good memory in your head. You, it's kind of there, but you can't really picture. But to be able to capture it on video and look at it, you can almost relive it. And then you also, you can share it. How do you share a memory that you see in your head? You have to describe it in words. But when you got it on video, you can share something extraordinary special memory you can share that memory with someone let them see that memory and that's pretty awesome so that's another reason to say I just love the video I love to capture things and when I'm dead and gone and my existence will be no more well there'll be videos out there'll be videos out there you know I'd love to be able to watch videos of my grandparents my great grandparents great great grand I mean you know I'd love to be able to watch videos I got the old eight millimeter old video uh, reels of them and I made a video of it it's in my video uh, it's on my page you got to look back it's so old uh, eight millimeter videos it's got uh, a lot of people that's passed away is no longer with us, but they were called on video. Those are memories you be able to look at them and see them, and see the way they acted, and see the way they cut up and smiled, and laughed. And of course, those videos didn't have sound. The ones I had have, but hey, it's it, it's nice to look at those memories. So that's why I make videos, y'all. I've told y'all time and time again, you know, 
that I make them merely for myself really and that maybe if my children grandchildren great grandchildren if I ever have any I mean I'm I'm not even a grandfather yet my uh, my kids haven't even uh, well I mean my kids are grown but uh, they don't even have uh, kids yet or anything So I'm 57 and don't have no grandkids. But then again, my kids have moved off across the country, so I don't even see my kids either. So I'm pretty much so low over here where I live in my life. It's just me myself and I and I'm okay with that cause I came into this world with nothing and I'll leave out of this world with nothing so it's alright Oh, and some some of y'all, you know, if you want a little little background on me or whatever as far as relationships, stuff like that, you know, I'm a single man. I'm 57 years old. I've been single for years. I haven't dated anyone in, in a few years. I mean, I, I, I don't... I've not been in a relationship with anyone in years. I've lost pretty much the desire to be in a relationship with anybody. You know, that's sad. You just kind of lose the desire to want to be in a relationship with anybody. Because of the craziness and the way people act these days. It just turns you off on uh, society. Do I miss being in a relationship? Yeah, I miss being in a relationship. But do I, do I need to be in a relationship? I don't need to be in a relationship. I don't need anyone. Is it nice and wonderful to share time with someone? Yes, it's wonderful. I love it. But do I, is it a need thing that I need? No. I live each day just like the last. I don't, I don't come, I, well, I don't focus on what I don't have, and that's my biggest thing. I don't focus on what I don't have. If I don't have a relationship, I don't focus on not having a relationship. If I don't have someone to, to love and cherish and hold hands with, walk arm in arm and go out to eat with if I don't I don't focus on it those are things I would love to have I don't focus on it because it's not a necessity it's not something I need to have it makes life nicer enjoyable maybe maybe so it is nice but I enjoy myself just as much I need downtime because I'm tired on the weekends. Every weekend I'm more and more tired. The older I get, the more tired I am. Sometimes relationships take a lot of energy. It's a lot of energy. And if you don't have the energy to put in a relationship, it's just going to crumble away anyway. So I kind of shy away from relationships because I feel like, well, I can't put a whole lot of energy into it. And it's going to be like neglecting, you know, towards the other one. And not because, you know, that, that they don't like them less or anything like that. It's just that I focus on what's in front of me at the particular time, like work. I focus on work. 
try to do the best I can, try to do what I can, get it done. But when I'm in a relationship, when I'm with someone, I focus on them. I'm there wholeheartedly. But when you're away from someone, you know, I just feel like that I'm just not relationship material anymore. Because I might be so too self-centered or something. I don't know. You never know. I just know that life is, changes as the older you get. I think men and women are different, you know, a lot of ways. So, but it just is what it is. No big deal. Oh, no big deal. I don't dwell on it. What's dwell on is pulling in this driveway right here. Because this is the moment that I'm alive and living and breathing and looking and doing. Traveling down here. What's in front of me is to be done, and that's what I'm focused on. Getting up here, getting up on this truck, y'all, get to the company truck ready to go, and doing my job so I can earn an income, so I can pay my bills, and enjoy my downtime. That's what it's all about for me. You know, maybe things will change. I don't know. It is what it is. Folks, here we are once again, fixing to start another wonderful day on the road in the hustle and bustle. So, if y'all have to be out and about on the highways and byways, I gotta see something right here. If y'all happen to be out on the highways and byways, do be safe and courteous and nice. And do help somebody if you can. But stay positive, my friends. Stay positive and keep pushing forward. And if you work with a leprechaun, a red hue, if you work with a starfish, a clown, Try to look over. <laughs> uh, Y'all know what I mean. It's going to be a wonderful day. Have mercy, it's going to be a wonderful day. Till next time, everybody. This is Jimmy Richardson. Peace out.